do a titration, you will need two solutions. One of them can be a known, one of them is an unknown, depending on what you're doing. Your known may be in the burette or your known may be in the flask, okay, that you're titrating with. So in this case, I'm going to show you an acid-based titration. My base is in the burette and my acid is going to be in an Erlenmeyer flask. I'm taking 25 milliliters of the acid. Typically, we will use an Erlenmeyer flask for titrations because it gives a better control and there is also less splattering and the control is for the shaking of the flask. Um, for an acid-based titration, most likely you will need some sort of an indicator. For this one, we're going to use phenophthalene and phenophthalene gives a nice pink color in basic solutions. Okay, and so that will tell me that I've reached my end point in the titration. When so when you're ready to do your titration, go ahead and place the Erlenmeyer flask um, underneath the burette tip. Make sure the burette tip is going inside the flask and then release the liquids. So add the solution and you can see that it's already turning a little bit pink, which means if it's turning pink, it's a it's, uh, little bit getting to the end point. But of course, the color disappeared when you shook it. So here's what to do. Um, next is to go really slowly and I'm right-handed so I use my left hand to control the um, stop cork and my right hand to shake the flask okay and so if you're working with a partner uh, one of you can shake the, the flask and if it's turning pink a lot then just stop okay because at this point this is kind of the color that you need for um, for the end point for an acid base it should be absolutely very light pink and then leave it for about 10 or 30 seconds and see what happens to the pink color if it stays then your titration is done if it disappears then you can add one more drop now the problem with acid based titration with this one specifically is that even one drop can make a huge difference okay so you want to be careful when you do the titration and i think this pink color wants to stay and so we, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and read my burette reading. Um, and then I will use this one as my um, marker, okay, as uh, my backup so that I know what color I reached the first time. And leave it like this and then use uh, and do two or three more titrations in order to get my precise readings, okay, from there. So that is how you would do a titration. When you're done, of course, you clean out the burette.